Hello everybody. I am so excited that some of you really liked my Impatient Girl's Guide to Lettering. I um, will add a link right now so that you can go see it if you haven't seen it yet. I know that a lot of people are getting new Spring Start Cousins and want to see what others are doing. So I hope that you are inspired by mine. I'm going to do my March flip through. Um, let's get started. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, you guys. All right. So this is my yearly index. Um, in March, I saw my sister after a long while. We got to hang out and have fun and laugh again together. And it was really, really awesome for me. Um, and we went to see a Guster show. It was fabulous. I still just keep my appointments in here. I don't always look at it, but it has helped me keep track from phone to here because I use this every single day and I'm not always checking my phone calendar, which I know sounds crazy. Um, but that, that is, that is what it is. Um, last month I was showing you guys something I had painted in my journal and I couldn't find the magnet for it, but I believe that that is it. So we'll, we might see it again later. So let's do the monthly. It's again, still the same. I'm still loving these little plant stickers. I am still just putting my appointments in here. I'm trying not to overthink this much. I put some basic decoration in here. I decided to start tracking um, you guys and your visits to me. It makes me happy and excited that something I really just love doing is enjoyed by people like I'm stoked that there are other people out there who love paper like I like paper and also just being creative and trying shit out and trying to see like what you can do different and practicing and being loose and groovy and all those things. I um, and also just like, you know, ugh, just putting it on it like if you can't be relaxed in the paper that you have in front of you. Right. Um, hopefully there's another place where you are relaxed. So this was my monthly. I keep chappering on. I don't I'm, I. I actually just exercised for the first time in a while and I sweated and I was breathing hard and it was great and I'm so glad that nothing hurts a lot. I'm just, I'm really, I think I'm a little jazzed. So this was the end of February. Let's start with the weeklies. I know so many of you are here for the weeklies, which I love. So this, this week is clearly different, clearly different than this week. That is because at the end of February, I was like, oh man, people are like watching my YouTube videos. I should really make sure I know what I'm doing on YouTube. So I went to take some YouTube notes, watching other people on YouTube with YouTube channels. And I thought I was taking notes in the extra months that are available back here at the end of the monthlies. They give you an extra February up to March, January, February, and March. I thought I was using these two columns to take some notes. Lo and behold, I was not. I was actually using Monday and Tuesday of the next week. I don't know what I was thinking, but fog brain is real. So I decided to just go with the flow, <clears throat> excuse me, and I added some stickers over here deciding this was just going to be an off a, a different week. And I, I kind of love that it happened this way. And I'm kind of tempted to do it intentionally in the future sometimes. Um, Oh, that would be, I don't know, it makes me, it makes me have fun. So at the end of March, I believe March started around the Friday. Let me see. I, I think that, yes, the 29th of February. So March 1st was Friday. And I just, if you should watch that lettering video, if, if any of this intrigues you, I go over how to do this in the lettering video. Um, we do sort of like this, um, but definitely that. And I'll, I'll be doing another part two video so that people can can just get some more. And, and I might even get a little more specific as we go down, you know, about my actual practice when I'm writing in this. If you like how it looks and you want to make yours look like this, I can make a video that really shows you how I do it. I talk about how I do it. I do have a couple of videos up there now where I'm filling it in. Um, you should take a look at those to get a head start and see what I do. I, I'm thinking about maybe keeping my camera at the ready when I'm working from home one day. And every time I do something writing in it, turning my camera on and you can see it in real time. And maybe I could do you know, talk about what I'm doing at the same time, if that would help anybody. Every night I end with what TV show we watch. We always watch a show or, or part of a movie or a home movie. See, it took like two days for us to watch a movie here. Um, 
Let's see. My feet don't tingle. That was a great day. <laughs> I was having a lot of feet tingling issues and I, I finally looked into some vitamins. I go over this sort of writing. It's kind of like a ribbon writing. I go over that in my lettering guide if you wanted to see that. So this is the last end of the week. I have some little stickers here. Yes, this this um, calendar and good luck is a sticker. All these stickers to kind of help give a defining line before I go on to the next day. Good day, good day indeed. Also a sticker, this is not me being super fancy. I have a lamp right in front of me at the table because I know it's probably dark. I'll see if any filters will help. If the filters worked, then you won't even know. <laughs> Uh, here's the first week. <clears throat> I was trying to track my walking, reading, and yoga. I, I really still have fallen out of yoga. April is my month, guys. I've prepared for April to be the month. Uh, I had loved these stickers still. I believe these ones were from Shine. These were from Shine. These, smooth sailing, you can do it, gotta do it, to buy. This is a this is actually one square sticker, which is awesome. Um, those were from a pack I got on discount at Michael's. In my video, I go over this sort of writing a little bit. Um, I do recommend that you do different shapes of letters. Make them big, make them tiny, all in one word. Do really tall capital letters, but also really tall lowercase letters with it, keeping them the same. That's a really nice tip. This this is in the, in the video as well. I'll zoom in on some of these. Um, yeah, this was this was a I don't know, everything seemed to be like a good week. I love my chili. I'm I'm gonna have to make that again soon. I showed my mother my books and she really liked, you know, when I write the the cursive words out long. Like it's just really going like flattening and stretching so I can show you more how to do that. We went over this very um one of the easiest things that you can do to update your letters to decorate them. Let's see, what else do we have? I like to use highlighter to add a lot of color to, like this is just regular handwriting and I used two different colors marker over it and it dressed it up. It adds just a lot more. It's some little, real little things and um, I want you to feel inspired to do those things too. Same here, just put highlight over. So I love the book stickers. The book was better. I did better with reading. I'm reading Killers of the Flower Moon, and I was listening to a book by Lisa Jewell called None of This is True. What a great audiobook! Really, truly, it was. I typically don't like when the, there were actors in the audiobook and different voices with each other, but this was very well done. It was really well done, and it did help that the book was about a person doing a podcast because they added some of those elements and it was fun. It was really neat to listen to. Um, I really love these girl stickers. I just really do. I try to pick ones that kind of match more my style, but it's really hard because most of them are not at all my style. I'm kind of a, kind of a hippie-ish, grungy, relaxed, and then sometimes more classically, I don't know. I don't know what I am. Honestly, I change it up so often. I like how this one came out. I just kind of scribbled with the yellow around it and it made it look like a burst of sun. I showed how to do this, make your letters look like this in the girl's guide as well. Um, I, I did a version of that. You'll, you'd see it in the video as well. I love my little TV doodle. I can show anybody how to do some of these doodles. Let's see, this is in the middle of the month. Again, I, um, this is with the, the little serifs on. So you can see that in the in the girl's guide part one. I will do another part. Um, sometimes I just have to go quick and it's still, what I did was I took markers. I have these Tombow markers with a brush end and a point end. They're really good, they're water soluble so you can blend them together. If water gets on them, you're kind of screwed. Like it just washes off, unless you did it intentionally for some artistic value. So I only have 20 of those like this. I did have a 50% off coupon at Michael's so I got the Statler set. This was about 36 or 48 markers. And these are also water soluble. One end is a brush pen, one end is a much finer point. Um, some of them were a little dried out, which I'm a little disappointed about, but, um, and this case was also on sale at Michael's, so I got a pack of them, because why not? I took those markers, 
and I just did different colors randomly down. So I took just the pink, I did pink, and I randomly put it down, and then blue, and then yellow, and then a very more pale color that's a midliner, and just almost in all black, maybe a couple times, like I changed it toward the end, but I that was it. That's all I did, and it made it look, it makes it stand up more. Here, I wrote with the brush end of the pen or a highlighter, and then I took the fine point of a different color to outline the letters. That is also in the Impatient Girl's Guide, part one of how to do that. And this is how a whole day with just that one technique can look. And I added some stars and different colors just with a pen, you know. Um, that's it. That's, that's it. And you can get this look. Like, I think a whole, whole week with just that would look pretty stellar, you know. Um, the way the stands is written, that is also in the Impatient Girls Guide. So, you know, get thee, get thee there. Um, I did fill in this page in one of my videos. So hopefully if I have the wherewithal and the thoughts to remember, I will link it right now, right here. So you can see me filling that in if you like how it looks and you want to give it a go. Give it a go. We're getting towards the end of the month. This is the last week of March. Um, this one, I did a brief version. I didn't do it as accurately. I've written like that again since, so I'm going to do it again in part two to show you how to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of different lettering things to show you. If you see anything here, please comment what you see that you would like for me to show. I got some new pens from Michaels. They're very iridescent. I, my clamp won't let me see if you can see it in the video, but um, they look really cool. And I figured like it would look like sparkly if I put dots and stars all around in the light if I did it just right. And you can for me, I can see it now. The only problem is these pens bled through the other side, which was a bit of a bummer. So the next page is April, so you'll get a little sneak peek. I ended up covering it with stickers as much as possible. So this is the first week of April right now. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. They're still cool. No wind for kites. We were gonna try to fly kites on Easter. And there was no wind. And here you can see I used one of those pens, but it's, it is pretty hard to read. Still, <clears throat> I was pleased to get something that was different than what I'd been using. Let's move on to the daily, shall we? Here's the beginning of March. I did like a little flower scene thing at the bottom with all different flower stickers from a pack I got at Michael's. They have sticker booklets that are about half the size of this page. They're about between seven to $10, but you get hundreds of stickers in there and they're pretty themed. So this was one of the flower ones. Today is a good day to have a good day. Absolutely. Um, I went to the Central Pennsylvania Music Awards to cheer on one of my friends who was nominated. Someday it'd be cool if my band is, but right now it was really fun to recognize all the local musicians we have here in Central Pennsylvania. I had a karaoke party, which kicked ass. I mean, this is such a fun time. What we do is put into a hat uh, different ways to sing a song. And the other side are different songs that you might not know. And I do it this way because being a musician, I was not always a musician. And I know that there are people who love singing that don't think that they can sing. And I was one of those people. But I truly believe that if you just relax enough and let it all out as if you really are really good, not only does it feel amazing, but you end up singing so much better than you realize. So I try to put all of us on a level playing field. I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, but you're really good and you're going to judge how I sing or I'm really embarrassed and I don't want to do it. I want everybody to start at the same level. So not everybody can sound like Kermit while singing Push It by salt and Peppa, but we're going to try, <laughs> you know, so or... um. Or I have friends in low places and you sing it like you're a witch, like a hag in the woods, you know, and and not everybody can do that. And and sometimes you don't know the song, but because all of us are kind of looking at fool, looking like fools at the beginning, I'm telling you, it's a blast. And, and I, I've done it. This is my second one. And there's all you need is about five or six people. We line up five microphones in our band room and we put the karaoke lyrics from YouTube on the screen and just go crazy. It's so fun. I think I'm going to keep up with this, by the way. This is a remembering February and things that I really enjoyed, but it's also kind of looking ahead to the next month. 
design wise I think this is one of my more put together pages ever when it comes to color I don't I don't typically do that on purpose but I think it looks kind of cool and I'm like oh I think some people out there who love that uniform matching uh palette type of look I I hope you like this I, I feel pleased it even matches the color there and this is my first Sunday sun so it was supposed to be a sun it was not working out to look like a sun, so I turned it into this, and I think it's really cool. I, I really like it. It pleases me. Here is a writing prompt. He opened the book to the marked page and continued reading where he had left off. I like getting writing prompts that are very random, and then I just fill the page until it's over. And the stories that I end up coming up with, I love. If you're a writer and you want to see my process, I did uh, post a video called Free Write With Me, and I can put the link here. It's about 10 minutes long. Feel free to use the same prompt and write along at the same time. I know some people do that. I think it's pretty fun. Let's see. Here's a word writing sprint. This is a, a drawing with my Tombow markers. This is what this is where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting right here. This is the window beside me. This is my reading rug. Another writing prompt. Sensory exercise, a place you know well. Um, this was just like making scribble dots and trying to draw inside them. What do you see? I like the bird. I like this weird rabbit with no body, but just a foot and a, and a head. Uh, this is kind of like a ghost. And of course, a lady. That's a pretty fun thing to do. I saw somebody else do that in a, in a sketchbook um, flip through. And I think it's a neat, a neat thing to do. I had a gig this day, so that's supposed to be me drawing. I have not been doing the self-portrait exercises and I really still want to improve, you know, any kind of artistic thing I can do. So I should get back to it. Um, you can, this is, you can see the water soluble pen where I'm trying to mix it together. That was fun. And they were great. This, this group of people were really great. Um, so this was supposed to be a conversation about two people who are making dinner and there's like, it's supposed to show that there's tension, but they're not talking about what the problem is. That was a really fun exercise too. Again, prompts and, and exercise ideas that I get mostly from ChatGPT these days. This was another Sunday where I try to draw different suns and different facial expressions. I like the freedom to on Sundays just be free in my day. You know, I don't have to feel the pressure of writing. And if I do decide to write in a Sunday, I could incorporate the sun in the writing and still be sticking to that practice. This is gouache trying to do grass uh, but I'm telling you, just like impatient lettering, I am an impatient painter. I just want to, I want my hands to keep moving. I don't want to keep being slow and precise. I'm not that kind of person um, that I'm just, I'm discovering I'm not. I had washi tape at the top here, but then I just added it at the end. So I like just keep moving, just keep drawing things and going fast. Here you can see where water dripped on the marker. I don't know why. I probably, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know why <laughs> it happened. That's all I know. This was fun. This is kind of meta. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. This is my little A6 book that I write lyrics in. And this is my cousin today. You see this as the 13th up here. And I drew, I was trying to draw my perspective and what I was drawing. And then I did it meta. Yeah, right? Cool, right? I think it's cool. <laughs> Try to do some pen and ink. Again, this is the table I'm sitting at right now. These are plants that are behind me, um, a painting behind me, our table. So this is this is exactly what it looks like. I drew this from the from the kitchen, which is over that way, looking in, just because I wanted to fill my page. And I figure as long as I'm doing something in it, it doesn't have to be amazing. Writing prompts. I wanted to make sure I did do my writing prompts. This one, under the dim glow of the street lamp, she realized her keys were not in her pocket. And then you just keep going from there. Cafes and coffee shops were once my romantic spaces. This is actually a writing prompt from a la Natalie Goldberg, um, writing about something memory that, that you remember and the senses and stuff about them. And coffee shops really were my thing. Like, I, I just felt so romantic writer Hemingway, um, Henry Miller, you know, about coffee shops. And they're so different now. You just, I just... College towns probably have the best ones, and I, I really miss being able to go to those cozy, kind of dark coffee shops. They were like bars for the <laughs> for the pretentious, you know, and, uh, but they only served coffee. They were awesome. Big couches, big lamps, tapestries, incense, the whole nine yards. 
One day, if you're looking for a new daily idea, I decided to copy, not copy, but do my daily the same way I do my weekly. So everything I did, I kind of wrote down. So I would love to knit today, coffee first, CBS this Saturday, we funder and overplay, painting would be swell too, breakfast at Kim's, went to CBD Shaman because I had terrible, terrible back pain and I was hoping I could find a CBD lotion my friend got that helped her but they didn't have it. Though the woman there was very nice and gave me free samples of some things to try. Um, let's see, we went and got frames, we went to a new antique store, we went to get some beer, we went back home, I played guitar, then I saw my partner's other band play, we went back home. Um, or I came back home, then I went back to see him play. I got a salad. Um, and then I guess I, <laughs> I guess I came home a lot that day. Yes, I went to help them set up. Then I came back home. Then I went back to go see them play, but they needed food. So I went to go get them food. And then I went and watched them play. Then I came home again. And then we watched Bob's Burgers before going to bed. So you could always do something like this to fill in your dailies. I think it's kind of fun, actually. Like if I'm ever at a loss about a writing prompt, I would just do something similar. Again, a Sunday. This was um, St. Patrick's Day, actually. I should have done the sun all in green, but I didn't think about it. So they all say sun, Sunday, 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 Sunday. And just went around with different color oranges and yellows. I like this exercise. I think it's fun to do. Monday. Monday, 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 Monday. I just, I obviously didn't have anything to do, but I wanted to do something artistic and creative, and that's what I did, and I think it looks cool. This is writing with one of those iridescent pens. Um, my thoughts on colored gel ink. <laughs> and it says, one day a person decided that blue and black and simple simply weren't enough. Then I, I missed painting. I hadn't painted in a while. And this was fun. Again, slapdash. I don't know what it's going to be. I do different colors. And I'm like, oh, I could see a face in here. I think it kind of looks like the uh, the Last of Us guy, right? Am I right? Am I right? You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I have a little bit of a shirt here. That's his neck. I thought that was fun. I don't know. And then, and then typically if I take some colors out, I don't want to use new colors. So I blend things and try to use as little as possible. This says her gaze lingered on the half empty coffee cup, which is the writing prompt on this side. Um, again, just using what's on, on my plate of paint. Is there a melody that calls to you too? I have no idea where that came from. Um, this says... Her, what does she like to think, eclectic? Her mug was, she liked to think, eclectic, like her. She liked to think. So that was a writing prompt. <laughs> um, this, again, was using the colors from this, from this one. Um, I think I kind of, I was kind of a week behind, I think, and I just was like, I'm going to pick four or five pages to paint with today. And that's what I did. How long must we walk through these same spaces? I have little figures kind of walking here and maybe some grass. This was supposed to be kind of dune-like. I love I love those folk art things where they have little farmhouses and green grass and hills and then they do just little dashes or dots. And I think that's what I was hoping I could try to do here, but clearly I did not. So, whoops. Um, here's a writing prompt that I did. Here's another paint with that same palette and I put a face, face in there that I just saw. I kind of like blur my eyes and I'm like, what could I see? I feel like if I think too much, it's not great. And over here, I just wanted more colors. She, she looks a little crazy, but she looks a little fun. Um, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> so we're getting close to the end of the month, guys. Um, and here's Saturday. This is, um, I, I based this writing prompt on this sticker, who's, which is a hiker with the dog. And it starts, Ralph was taking a long time to catch up today. Ralph was the dog. And I wrote about that. And this is my son kind of thing, but more, more, more like this for, um, for March. I did prep for, um, for April. I got my April page. Um, I have 331 subscribers as of the 2nd of April. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, because I think it's fun, you guys. Like keeping track of like th seeing things go up makes me makes me excited. And I have my remembering March, loving April, looking ahead. I love this washi tape. I absolutely adore it. I got it from Timu of all places. There are like five or six. Here we go. This, these are my washi tapes. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I gave some to a friend. 
of mine who um, she has a A6 Hobonichi. And I think I already showed you the week ahead for April if you wanted to see that. So I have these stickers to work around. Um, but I did put the big ones first. I may have filmed it. Can't recall. So that's it. And then I just filled in my, my budgeting for the month. You know, I checked off the bills I paid. I crossed them off when they came out of my account. That's it. That's all I got for you for March. So John Oliver says hello. It's getting thick, you guys. Thanks for being here again. Can't wait till next month. I'm going to do that part two guide, hopefully um, in the next week or two. I shouldn't make promises about the next week or two. I'm going to do my best. But um, anything else that you think you would like to see from me, please do not shy away from it in the comments. Just be clear and tell it like it is and I will do it. Somebody suggested showing you all of my tools that I use in here. So my pens, my markers, my highlighters, my washi tape, my paints. And I, I think that's a fabulous idea. So I'll be very happy to do that as well. So um, that's all I have. I hope everybody has a great day. Catch you later, homeskillets. Bye.